I decided to come to the McDonald's at Love's on the Ford Avenue exit. And I waited in line to get my food. I had already done my mobile order so that, you know, people don't pay for my stuff because I just always like to pay for it myself. But I'm on my way home from work. Um, when I pull up to the window, they hand me my receipt. So I go to the second window to get my food and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting. And so the girl comes to the window and asks me what my order was. I repeat my order and my coffee um, order and they ask me to pull up because my food's not ready. It's uh, an English muffin meal with a hash brown and coffee. And I mean, I hadn't eaten since uh, probably about, I mean, I've been up for a very long time, but I haven't eaten in a while. So I was kind of hungry and I'm still waiting and I'm still waiting and they asked me to pull up. So I pull up forward and uh, a girl comes out with my coffee and just the coffee and she hands it to me and I have my window down and that's all she hands me is the coffee. So I told her, I said, don't bother with the food because right now I'm too nervous to take it. It doesn't matter how many hours I've been up. It doesn't matter what I've done for anyone. Right now I'm too nervous to take a meal from McDonald's because I can't see it being made. I don't know what's going on with people nowadays, but please just give us a break. Please just give us a break. I don't know how much more I can take. I've been in this for 15 years and I've never, ever had such anxiety about waiting for McDonald's drive through food. So just have a heart and if you see an officer, just tell them thank you. Because I don't hear thank you enough anymore. All I want is just my- So y'all just heard this paranormal Karen activity play out in full display and let me tell you this is what petty pendergrass productions are made of like this was the perfect violin moment right here and i have to shout out one of my uh followers on twitter and most likely who's one of my subscribers unapologetically black and i think i already know who that is but shout out to you for <laughs> for tagging me in this post listen so you have this woman, I don't even know her name. I think they said it in the caption, but who cares what it is. Who is crying or trying to push out tears as if she's trying to shit a brick through her eyelids because she went to McDonald's, ordered a head to get some kind of sausage McMuffin and they didn't give it to her and all she got was her coffee or whatever drink that it is that she ordered and now she's crying tears because she feels that the police are being so oppressed right now and that they are trying to somehow taint her food or poison it or do something to her before i go even further into this right here did y'all hear about what recently happened with shake shack if y'all didn't hear basically you had like three cops or three terrorists who claim that Shake Shack had poisoned them with their food because of the climate that's going on in the world right now. Well, especially in America, in the States, by the um, by way of the um, U.S. Turns out those three or whoever, how many it was, lied about that to garner sympathy points from the people. I'm like, people are already on edge with you right now as it is. You are just pushing them further and further away by lying and then hurting someone else's business in the process while that's going on, because that could have drove business away from Shake Shack. Even though at this point of the game, I don't think many people would have cared if they did or if they didn't. But just for uh, purposes of being professional, they why would they want to do that to their business? I mean, they still have to serve you. But you are trying to drive business away by lying and saying they tried to poison you. I wouldn't be surprised if this chick right here tried to pull the same move and is trying to garner sympathy points. And that's what she did toward the end. And she pushed out those tears. Hence why you see the picture as the thumbnail um, or as the picture on your screen right now, as you can see, she can sit all the way down with those so-called tears. 
we as black people in this establishment have suffered been angry have cried so many tears over losing loved ones and you are upset because you didn't get your sandwich are you kidding me like this is why no one can really take them seriously right now the the police in this establishment it has now turned into a circus it is now turned into a joke but the difference between now and other times is that now everybody can see it for what it is and of course you have some people who like the police so much that are going to try to put the blame on that particular mcdonald's or the person who ever ordered and said that they were wrong for doing this and they were wrong for doing that how do we even know that this woman is even telling the truth but see people will automatically believe it because she produced these so-called tears and tried to gain brownie points or sympathy from people we need to look into her background who has she done some terrible things to that's what we need to find out we need to dig into her past because i don't know if she to me it sounds like she's trying to not only do this for attention but try to do this as a money grab from mcdeath knowing that this is a multi-billion dollar global corporation and she could probably get something out of it but they're gonna look at this and laugh that's all i could do when i saw when she was talking i was like okay whatever but when she started doing the breaking and the cracking of the voice and started to uh try to cry <laughs> that part made me laugh i said oh this is the perfect perfect triple p moment right here but karen save your tears nobody cares really nobody cares but you did provide us a good laugh though i will say that you definitely gave us our laugh of the day 